there we go. Yeah, I got it out. Oh, it's dripping. All right, we're done. Hey, internet friends. Good morning. Welcome or welcome back to Sustainable Sierra YouTube. If it's been a while, if it's your first time visiting, hi, welcome, my name is Sierra and I'm American living in England. Every week I make a new video about my family's life here or whatever it is we have to be doing on the weekly. If you're one of my subscribers, which if you're not, come on, what are you doing? You clicked on this video, you know you want to subscribe. So now that you are a subscriber or if you were already one before, you'll probably notice on my page that my uploads have not been as consistent as I would like. I know I'm interested that every week I make a new video and I really do try every week, but you also notice I actually haven't really been uploading very much in the last couple of months and I wish I could say I had like one big excuse but like I've also had like you know a bunch of little excuses and I don't know if you guys are interested in those. If you guys are let me know in the comment section and maybe I'll make that video if you want to watch me complain about my life but anyways let's get into why you guys are actually here. You guys are here for the massive lush smash haul. I call it a smash haul or like a lush mismatch haul. I haven't done this in a while just because of the fact that usually when I make a Lush video it's either like a subscription box unboxing which I don't do every month but most months. Um, a holiday launch or a special occasion launch or most recently if you guys haven't seen my last video I did a Lush PR launch which is this box right here. It's so pretty. I love it. I put it in the background for now. I'm not sure if it's going to stay there. If you like it let me know in the comment section. If you don't like it let me know. You know whatever you want to say. But um, they sent me a really beautiful PR box of a bunch of retro products to try out that might or might not be coming to the store sometime soon. I was at a Lush store yesterday actually talking to the staff trying to see if they could give me some information but they wouldn't budge on telling me anything. So if you're watching and you know anything about when these products, if those products are coming to be launched in the stores, let me know. I hope that they are because they were all great. But anyways, we're going to get into this haul. You guys have noticed in the thumbnail you might recognize some of these products before. You might also realize I have not made a Father's Day haul. To be honest with you, I had good intentions of making that video but I never did because busyness. So anyways, I've got Father's Day stuff in here. I've got like Japanese launch stuff in here. I've got a little bit of the Asteroid City launch. I've got original products. I've got a whole bunch of random things. So let's just get into the video. Since I already mentioned the Asteroid City launch, I'm just going to start out with my little asteroid bath bomb first. I got a few products from the collection actually, but this is like the main one that everyone is most excited about and it is the Asteroid Bath Bomb. Asteroid Bath Bomb, as you can see, is beautiful. It kind of reminds me of the Oh Holy Night Bath Bomb that came out for Christmas was it two, maybe three years ago? It had a very similar pattern on it. Um, maybe I used the same mold, maybe they used the inspired mold, I'm not sure, but it is scented like Space Squirrel. And I've held off giving it a proper sniff at home. I smelled it in the store with all the other Lush smells, but not at home. So let's give it a proper sniff and see. I think it smells a little bit different than Space Squirrel. I feel like the original Space Squirrel has kind of a little bit of a different scent profile, but according to my Lush app, right, I looked it up earlier, the scents that are in Space Girl are the same scents that are in the Asteroid City, so I don't know why it smells different. Maybe one is a little bit fresher than the other, or maybe one was touching something else in the bag, I don't know, but anyways, yeah, that's the Asteroid Bath Bomb, and actually I got two of them because when I was shopping in the store, I had a little man with me, and we couldn't help ourselves. Moving on to the next bath bomb is one of my favorite bath bombs that has been around for a really long time at Lush, and it is the Sakura Bath Bomb. Sakura Bath Bomb is a, a beautiful floral bath bomb that of course is designed to mimic the scent of the Sakura petals in Japan. I think I actually have the label that was in my little bag here. So it is um, Sicilian Lemon Oil, Mimosa Absolute, Orange Flower Extract, Jasmine Absolute, and Gardenia Extract. So when you smell it, I wouldn't say it smells exactly like Sakura because Sakura is a very distinct scent, but as far as like a Sakura dupe, I would say this is pretty much as close as you're going to get to the actual Sakura scent. So. Smells so good. Actually, I didn't buy this one for my bath. Actually, this is a little bit of like a car hack. You know how like sometimes your car gets like funky car smell? I've noticed that putting a bath bomb in there specifically works really well because one, when it gets heated, it releases the scent of the essential oils that make it smell very good, but also because bath bombs usually have a main ingredient. Actually, I think all the Lush ones are mostly made of baking soda. Yeah, sodium bicarbonate. And so baking soda is known to like soak up smells. I feel like it kind of gives you the best of both worlds. So next up I'm gonna show you in my haul is from the Father's Day collection, which as I said, I did not make a Father's Day video this year. I wanted to, but it just didn't happen. And it is the Out of This World Bath Bomb. And as you can see, I can get two. Out of This World Bath Bomb, I can't remember the exact name of the scent family, but it is scented with, I have it on my phone here, lime oil, sweet wild orange oil, green tea powder, and 
Olibanum Resinoid, which is frankincense. And so it just smells really nice. And actually the reason I bought it is not because of the scent, but because it's super sparkly. And actually the show in the bath is really beautiful. So actually I've already had one that I've used before. So this is numbers two and three. And then the last and final bath I'm in the collection was actually the um, result of the Pay It Forward program. And so I want to give a shout out to the Trafford Center store, which is near Manchester. Hi, if you guys are watching. Um, we had a really amazing experience in the store. And actually I was there with my friend Sarah and my son and my husband. And and little man was just going crazy around the store asking all these questions and they really I guess admired his um like appreciation for Lush and how much knowledge he has as someone so little and so they gave him a little gift and I asked him he said that I could show it to you guys but his little gift was he was able to pick any bath bomb in the entire store to take home he chose the massive Mario yellow block bath bomb which is huge. You guys saw these in my Mario collaboration collection haul, but I don't know which scent is inside. Sometimes if you look at the bottom of them, you can see which one it is, but I don't know. Anyway, moving on to things um, other things. Actually, sorry, I lied. I actually do have one more bath bomb. You guys can tell how much slush I buy because I actually forgot about this order and I put it in my office and then never put it away. Um, but anyways, that's the Japanese product I was talking about. It is the Ipaku Don gift set. The Pakodan gift set, actually there's two of them. There's a cooling one and a warming one because I'm a cold nature person even in the summer. I know, I know, don't come for me. I chose to get the warming one and on the inside it has three little bath bombs that are really cute but of course you can use each one individually or you can use them all together. I'll probably use them each individually just to like really enjoy them but um, there's three of them in here. So there's the Hibana one. They are really tiny. Um, it's really beautiful. I'm going to give it a smell. And the main scents in here are tobacco, vetiver oil, and tonka absolute, and vanilla absolute. And also it's kombu seaweed powder, which might have kind of like a like earthy smell, but okay. Very nice. Um, I don't know. I don't think I've ever smelled anything with tobacco in it before from Lush, so that's really interesting. And the middle one is the Hinata bath bomb. Again, really tiny, really cute, and it smells... Ooh, it kind of smells like cinders actually. Okay, the instructions say that it is cinnamon leaf, clove bud oil, frankincense, cardamom absolute, and coffee. And it has a bit of seaweed powder in as well. So I'm expecting this to be really warming and really softening. And then the last one is the San San bath bomb. It's pink, it's not sparkly, but it kind of looks sparkly from here, but it's not, it's just the yellow crystals. Ooh, that one's actually kind of sweet smelling. I'm not sure why, but it is scented with buchu oil, which kind of smells like, to me, buchu is kind of like black currenty, which is probably why it is sweet. Divana oil, juniper berry oil, lime oil, and neroli oil, and again, the seaweed powder for really good soft skin. So, really lovely. I actually hadn't even smelled this until I showed it to you guys on camera, so very happy with those. So now that is actually officially the end of the bath bomb products and we're going to move on to back black pop and potted products. First thing, actually I bought this a couple of weeks ago but I haven't showed it to you guys and I thought I would throw it in. It's one of my favorite products from Lushum All Time and that is the Revive Moisturizer. Revive Moisturizer is a hair moisturizer, not a body moisturizer. Originally I think it may have designed for African hair. I could be a liar but as you guys can see it's a really thick consistency, kind of like one of their body lotions, and it's designed to moisturize your hair. I like to use it on the days when I leave my hair curly. I mix it in with my um, heat protectant and then like rub it in and kind of, you know, scrunch it and make it look curly like it usually does. But I also like to use it on straightened days because it helps tame all those little flyaways. It's not perfect product by any means, so I really love it and I've been using it for a handful of years. I'm pretty sure it used to be called R&B, at least that's what they said in um, the lead store when I was there when I actually picked this up. Next Black Pot product is not my Black Pot product, it is Mr's Black Pot product. Believe it or not, Mr is actually a closet lushy. He doesn't want people to know, so don't mention it if we ever do a meetup or something. But his favorite product from Lush, the one he has used probably for like four or five years now, is the Kalamazoo Beard and Facial Wash. I have no idea how many pots he's had. He usually buys the small pot because he's always like, oh, I'm not going to use it fast enough. But um, he went for the big one this time when he was with us at the Trafford store and it is thick, really moisturizing. It smells like a pineapple, which the pineapple in there actually is like an enzyme and so it softens the skin because pineapple has natural enzymes in it. 
he loves it because it's really softening. I love it because his beard is super soft and I also love the smell. Now, next pop product is another one of the Asteroid City products and it is the Asteroid City Shower Jelly. It is a UFO shaped shower jelly. It's really thin, that's my only complaint. I'm pretty sure Little Man and I are gonna destroy it the first time we both play with it. Uh, I've heard that if you toss it towards the wall, it does actually stick if you have the right kind of shower, but I digress. Um, it looks like this when you open it. You can kind of see the shape of it. Maybe I can just like, Ooh, there we go. Yeah, I got it out. Oh, it's dripping. All right, we're done. It's a really pretty green color for those of you who are listening. And the scent is the Calicus scent or the Calicus scent. That's the scent of like the Monster Ball eyeball that used to come out for Halloween or at least came out for Halloween a few years ago. Um, but let's give it a smell. I can already smell it and it smells delicious, but you know, for dramatic effect. I just wanna eat this. It's lime and neroli, I think, but it also has some frankincense in there and some aloe vera gel, which will be great for the summer because you know, sunburn. Since we're talking about jellies, the next product I'm gonna show you is another jelly, except it is a toothpaste jelly and it is the Cool Toothpaste with Full ride. or maybe it's not jelly. It says toothpaste, not toothpaste jelly. I don't know, we're gonna open it and find out. I actually ordered this a little while ago, but I haven't had a chance to use it yet. So here we go. Ooh, it is actually like a toothpaste. You guys can see, like it's actually like toothpastey. It's not like tooth jelly. Like, I'll show you guys just a little bit of it on my finger. It's actually the same consistency as toothpaste. This is really cool. So I guess what you would do is just like dip your toothbrush in there, run it under the water, and then, you know, just go to town like toothpaste. But I've actually been excited about this one for quite a while because it's the first Lush tooth product to have fluoride in it, which fluoride, depending on which country you live in, is really important. Usually um, when I'm in the US or when I'm in Japan, I don't use fluoride toothpaste because there's fluoride in the water. But North Yorkshire, where I live, as far as I know, it does not have fluoride added into the water. And so while I'm living here, I like to put a little bit of fluoride in my toothpaste just to make sure that my teeth are extra healthy. Now we're gonna go to the other potted products. Actually I have a little sample of potted products. They're not all black pot products but you know the category. Anyway and the first one is the Ultra Plant Cleanser which I have not tried before. I used to love Ultra Balm before I went vegan but um, Ultra Balm has beeswax in it which it is a great product but I just don't want to contribute to that. Do you know what I mean? The Ultra Plant is supposed to work very similarly. It is a very different product, but I haven't had a chance to try it and I wanted to. And I'm always looking for really good makeup removers, so I'm gonna give it a smell, which it doesn't really have a smell. Um, it's just, you know, a really oily, rich um, makeup remover that's supposed to be really good for all makeup, like waterproof and stuff, which is why I picked it up. And the next one is actually a shower gel, which is part of the Asteroid City collection. I have been told it smells the same like Space Girl, but I don't know. I don't think it smells the same, but I'm gonna show it to you guys. It's a really pretty blue color. Oh, geez. You guys can see what it looks like now. And since it's on my hand, I'm gonna give it a good smell. Is it supposed to smell like Space Girl? I think it smells a little bit different. According to this description on the website, it does have a bit of black currant in it, so that's probably why um, it smells a little bit different. So yeah, I need to go clean this, so excuse me. So the next sample I picked up is actually one of the Lush Shouters. It actually was part of Little Man's gift from the store. It wasn't really a gift because it was a sample, but it is the Life's a Beach Shouter, which I think is supposed to be vanillary scented. So I'm open up and show it to you. It looks kind of like sand, and the way that you use a shouter, kind of like a um, powdered shower scrub gel. Some of them have scrubbies in them, some of them don't. And you just use it like you would any other like washing product. So you just put some in your hands or in your cloth, make some bubbles, and you know, do what you need to do. But I'm gonna give it a little smell. It smells very vanillary y. Vanillary is a great scent, so I'm pretty happy about this. So maybe I will go back and buy the box, but what would I put it in? If you guys have any suggestions what I might put it in so it doesn't get all wet and nasty in the shower, but the only reason I don't like it is because my box accidentally fell in the shower into the tub and got ruined when I had it before, which is really disappointing. So anyway, the next sample I got is the grass shower gel. And you guys are probably asking why I usually go for the samples for shower gels for lunches versus the actual shower gels. Guys, I have too much shower gel. Seriously, if you're at my house and you're dirty, just let me know. I have enough shower gel for everybody. It's crazy, but I got a sample of the grass shower gel. Not um, because I haven't tried it, but because I really love it and I just want a little bit and I just don't need any more shower gel. Why I keep buying shower gel, I don't know. But I don't need any more, so this is my way of like not having too much, but it smells just like fr fresh cut grass. It's beautiful, it's got like a green color. You guys can't really see it unless I spill it on myself, which I'm gonna try not to do because I've already washed my hands. Like twice since we sat down, so yeah. Anyway, 
Speaking of soap, the next product I'm going to show you guys is the soap from the Father's Day range, and it was the Blue Moon Soap, and it looks like this. Mine does look, not look as pretty as it did, like, a couple of days ago, because I've been using it in the sink for the last couple of days, and it smells really good. They say that it's a Space Girl scent. I think it smells a little bit different from Space Girl, but according to the scent description, it is the same scent family as Space Girl. But it's really nice. It's very, um, like I find it a little, quite moisturizing, and it looks really cool in the bath. And if your bathroom is dark enough at night, the moon actually glows in the dark, which is kind of cool, so I think that's really fun. And then, I only have two more things to show you guys. I got another sample, and it is the I Believe in Unicorn Spun, actually, which is not my sample. This is Little Man's sample, and so I can't mess with it too much but if you guys haven't tried fun before fun is kind of like lush's play-doh soap which is really fun to use hence why it's called fun um a little man loves it i don't know exactly what the scents are in it i'll put them down here but i'm gonna give it a little sniff hmm so with that being said that concludes my mash together haul for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it if i had to pick a favorite item from the haul i love everything that i got but i think i am most excited about the cool toothpaste because it is Lush's first toothpaste, as I mentioned before, with fluoride, which I think is amazing. And I also love that because it's a Lush product, you can take the pots back to get 50p, depending on which country you're in, off of your purchase, which is really fun. So, yeah, I can't pick a least favorite because I love all these products. Maybe the Ultra Plant, just because it doesn't smell like anything, but I know that it's going to be really great. So, yeah, that's it. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comment section. And while you're down there, let me know which of these products is your favorite. Or if maybe I made any mistakes in my purchases, let me know down there as well. Like and subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.